The Joker is set in the early 1980s in Gotham, a city on the brink of a cultural revolution against its elites. The main character is Arthur Fleck, portrayed by Joaquin Phoenix. He lives with his mother and works as a clown, but dreams of being a successful stand-up comedian. Arthur struggles with mental health, his neurological condition causes him to experience sudden, uncontrollable laughter. He used to be locked up in the hospital. To help with his mental health, Arthur is prescribed medications dispensed by social services. Arthur also has a crush on his neighbor, Sophie, and at some point believes he's in a relationship with her, but it's later revealed that it was all a figment of his imagination. Arthur sometimes invents scenarios in his head that never happened, like when he fantasizes about having an interaction live on TV with his his idol, Murray Franklin. When a group of misfits attack Arthur in the street, his colleague, Randall, worries for his safety and gifts him a gun for self-protection. This gift will have a ripple effect on Arthur's life and Gotham. First, the gun will get Arthur fired after he accidentally exposes the weapon at a children's hospital. Randall denies ever giving him the gun. Later, Arthur is assaulted by three men dubbed as the Wall Street Three. They work for Thomas Wayne, a uber wealthy member of high society in Gotham. Wayne is currently running for mayor. Arthur kills the Wall Street Three in self-defense, prompting Thomas Wayne to condemn the killings publicly. Slowly, an anti-rich sentiment is growing in Gotham. Rumors of a clown figure committing the killings push disgruntled citizens to wear clown masks as a symbol of their dissatisfaction with elites. As a slow revolution unfolds in Gotham, the city also cuts its budget. This includes cuts to social services, which deprive Arthur of his medication and slowly make him lose his grasp of reality. When Arthur discovers a letter claiming that he is Thomas's illegitimate son, he confronts his mother. Then he heads to Wayne Manor where he encounters Thomas's son, Bruce Wayne. In canon, Bruce Wayne eventually becomes Batman. Arthur eventually confronts Thomas in person, but he denies being his father. Thomas says Penny is not even his biological mother. At Arkham State Hospital, Penny's file reveals that she worked as Wayne's housekeeper. During that time, she adopted Arthur, but she suffered from delusions and believed she had a relationship with Thomas, much like Arthur believed he had a relationship with Sophie. Arthur eventually kills his mother while she's hospitalized for heart failure. In parallel to Arthur's meltdown over his true parentage, Murray Franklin shows clips of Arthur flopping at stand-up comedy on his late night show, and he's the first to call him a joker. Murray eventually books Arthur to be featured on an upcoming broadcast. Arthur starts crafting a clown-inspired persona and plans to kill himself live on TV with his gun. Amid his delusion, he is visited by his ex-colleague, Randall. Arthur kills him as retribution for betraying him. On his way to Murray's studio, two detectives follow Arthur on public transit. They are investigating his role in the murders of the Wall Street Three. But Gotham is amidst a counter-cultural revolution inspired by Arthur's clown aesthetics. The train is filled with clown protesters. When Arthur incites a brawl, one of the detectives accidentally kills one of them, which leads to more violence on the train and Arthur escapes. When he makes it to Murray's studio, he asks to be introduced as Joker. The live broadcast goes south when the Joker confesses murdering the Wall Street 3 on the subway. As a final act of depravity, the Joker kills Murray live on TV. This broadcast leads to the Joker's arrest. But it also sends Gotham into utter chaos. Riots erupt across the city and the Joker is freed from police custody. Rioters kill Thomas Wayne and his wife. The Joker celebrates the chaos unfolding in Gotham, but ultimately he's admitted to Arkham where he's given a therapist. 
At the end of the movie, it's implied that the Joker is held at the institution, as seen in the trailer for the sequel to this movie. The Joker precedes Folly Adur featuring Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.